only it had been enough for Gatsby, just to hold Daisy. But he had a grand vision for his life and Daisy's part in it. It wasn't until the end of that summer, on the last night I saw Gatsby, that he told me of the life he had dreamed for himself since he was a boy. You see, Doctor, Gatsby's real name was James Gats. His parents were dirt poor farmers from North Dakota, but he never accepted them as his parents at all. In his own imagination, he was a son of God, destined for future glory. Chasing this destiny, a 16-year-old Gats ran far, far away. One afternoon, off the coast of Lake Superior, he spotted a yacht in peril. He rowed out and rescued the vessel and its captain, alcoholic millionaire Dan Cody. You're gonna hit the shoal! Come on, sir, we're gonna hit the shoal! What the hell are you doing? Old sport! This was his opportunity, and he seized it. And I decided right then and there to call myself Jay Gatsby. He sailed the yacht out of danger and into his future. Gatsby showed skill and ambition, and for five years they sailed the world. It was all right, old Dan. He taught me everything. How to dress, act, and speak Gatsby. like a gentleman. Jay Gatsby. She looks well, doesn't she? Gatsby hoped to inherit Cody's fortune. Old sport. But when Cody died, Gatsby was cheated of his inheritance by Cody's family. He'd been left with the ability to play the gentleman, but he was once again dirt poor. By midsummer, Gatsby was front page news. I, I love you much. It's not enough. I love blowing you up. Where did the money come from? That's what all of New York wanted to know. And it was the same question on Tom's mind when he accompanied Daisy to one of Gatsby's glittering parties. 